All right. Not a lot has gone on since the last video. You know, all the major stuff is kind of taken care of. I'm getting all the water leaks done. And fuel leak stuff like that taken care of so and kind of getting the interior setting into place make sure I get my vents routed where I want get that top panel on there gotta get my switches installed for the pedals I moved my steering column, moved it over toward the left quite a bit because I couldn't get the seat in a good position. Um, you know, that would drive me nuts if the steering wheel was off center. So I had to rework quite a bit of stuff in there in the steering column, and all the brackets and everything I had to realign all that stuff you know and then mount it back up there again but like I said it would have drove me nuts if I wouldn't have done that so and I got the door poppers in that's all wired up and installed so uh, I'll be able to use the key fob to, to pop the doors or the touch screen or um, I'm going to rig up a switch on the inside door handle for the door popper. So waiting on the transaxle, waiting on some reworked mounts for the rear shocks uh... quick racing products these guys uh... developed some parts for the gtm and that rear shock mount it's pretty much a must they're the ones that made the front sway bar and they're the ones that uh, develop the spring shot combination. So that's why the rear shocks aren't on there yet. Got the brakes. I don't know if I mentioned that. Got those bled. They're done. So I'm wandering around. Trying to figure out what to do next. It's getting close. Oh, one more thing. There's a knock that developed in my motor. Not too happy about that, but it's kind of the way things go. So I'll find out what that is. It's definitely over here on the top end. You know, so maybe a lifter's bad. I'm not sure yet, but I got to pull the valve cover do some checking and if I have to it's not a big deal on these motors to change the lifters you don't have to tear the heads off or anything uh, but there is some teardown involved you know or a broken spring you know who knows what's going on over there it's kind of mild I'll start it up and make a video so everybody can hear it Got some of the ducting in there. Stuff's kind of hard to get in the spot. You got to work it down in there. And even at that, it's kind of loose. You know, I'm going to probably put a couple of drops of urethane on the bottom of each of those tubes just help glue them in place I'm sure it would stay there but just a little bit of insurance getting ready to um, 
get this top panel put in place. There's got to be holes cut for all this ducting. These little ones will be for the defrost. They come up on the side here. And then the uh, dash vents, two in the center, and then one on each end coming through here. And then there's two down on the floor, down inside the tunnel there. And I'm going to hold off on routing those and choosing which uh, vent I want, grill, whatever. But it's probably going to go in here somewhere. No room in there. And get it to where it blows in towards the feet. Kind of a barrier in between the tunnel and the feet. Get it to blow that way maybe. Going to be a lot of air blowing in that little cabin. Shouldn't be a problem keeping it cool, especially where I live. So, so I think I got the vents done. Um, I got some switches. Which I'll use for my pedals. So I got to figure out a way to mount those get those wired up. The neutral safety switch on the clutch. Uh, I got one of these for the brake so uh, I can use the factory Corvette switch. I might put this in there also. And then I got the wide open throttle switch for the uh, accelerator pedal which cuts off the clutch for the AC. And the go-kart is uh, damn near done. Just little things here and there. And now I gotta still address this motor issue. So find out what the problem is there. Might be replacing some lifters and cam. Who knows? There are the switches. I don't know if you can see those, hopefully. Got one for the brake and then one for the clutch when the clutch is finally hooked up here. But I just used some epoxy to glue them in place. There's one down here. For the wide open throttle switch. And I got those all wired up. They're ready to roll. And I've been putting, getting some more uh, lined up where I want to put the hole in that top plate. Kind of mocking up a piece of cardboard. I found out I need to change that but you got to take into account that space ends right here and also of where this piece is which covers up the area for the windshield wiper assembly but that also affects where these hoses are and how they come across here so I'll use that help me come up with a little different plan than what I just had as far as the motor goes been researching that turns out you cannot get the lifters out without taking the head off so I got some decisions to make as far as uh, you know if I'm going to go through the extremes of pulling the head off the thing you know, do I need to replace all the lifters? Should I go ahead and just upgrade, you know, to the performance heads and the cam and just get it done and over with right now? So those are some of the things I'm considering here at the moment. So I'll get the vents done and get the seats in. 
and then figure out what to do with the motor. Here's what I came up with for a pattern. And that should work pretty good, so I'll take that back apart, transfer that over to that piece, and then start boring some holes in there. Here's what I came up with for the hoses, air ducts. I'm going to seal that up with some urethane once it's in there for good. Right now, <clears throat> I'll keep that loose till the last moment. Uh, make sure I can get in there and work on stuff if I need to. But that's what it looks like with the panels in place. The body uh, comes in right in between here. This piece I could put in permanent, just leave that hanging. Uh, it'd be easier just to leave it all out for now. Um, this over here, the pedal assembly sticks up high. So I'm going to have to get underneath there, unbolt that thing, shim it down a little bit. So the top of that, those pedal assemblies aren't grinding on this plate. That would cause definite interference. So I'll Trim that down. And I'm narrowing stuff down on my list, pretty much down to seats, getting those installed with the brackets, harness, which I haven't ordered yet. I'll have to get, um, I think there's one brand out there that's DOT legal. And. I've been talking to a lot of people, guys on the forum, local people, and as far as the motor goes, it's looking like I'm probably just going to do a cam swap and lifters and not mess around with the money as far as different heads, just run it what it is with an upgraded cam, get fresh lifters in there. Been working on the seats, getting some brackets made. Probably hard to see. Everything's black. But I'll just bolt through the side of the seat. Use some carriage bolts in there. And that's what I came up with. welded those in. Uh, the seat will not be adjustable. Pretty much made to fit my body so if it ever needed to be moved it could be moved one way or another. So I got that side done. I'll start on the other side now get the seats in there um, I think I've shown uh, these, this top plate here with the vents coming up through um, and I can't remember if I showed that or not but anyway that's what needs to be watched out for for clearances, got to go around this box for the wiper. And anyway, that'll all fit. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with the motor yet. Um, 
So stay tuned on that. We'll see what happens.